Well, Drew Reeves is on Upriver Drive tonight, where residents of the Edgewater Village condominiums are fighting back the water. And Drew, this hits pretty close to home for you. Yeah, Nadine, that's right. I actually live in these condominiums, and on a personal level, I just have to say thank you to everybody else who is out here helping today. It just really means a lot coming from me, and it wasn't just people who live here who were out helping today. Volunteers actually showed up to get these sandbags ready, not just the citizens here, but everybody trying to keep this river at bay. As the Spokane River continues to rise, people are now rushing to keep their belongings and property safe. The river just feet away from condominiums at Edgewater Village. It's right out my front door, but it hasn't come up over the berm yet, so hopefully we'll be okay. Neighbors hurriedly filled bags with sand today to build a protective barrier. The water already covering a first layer of sandbags laid down this weekend. It's just precaution. Uh, the water's coming up fast and we just wanna make sure it has not flooded anything that we have yet, but we're taking a precaution to just put a bunch of sandbags out and hopefully we don't get flooded. But it's not just the people living here getting to work. David Howerton says his dad lives near the condo complex and when he came upon a road stop, he realized the road was flooded and wanted to do his part to help. We heard on the news that we were, that they needed volunteers, so we uh, came out and decided, hey, we'll volunteer our time. We appreciate everybody that's just stepped up and helped us and made this happen this morning. So it's when the community comes together, together the best. Howerton says he's just happy to get out and help his neighbors when they're in need. Not gonna lie, it, it does feel great. Uh, it, it feels good. For some residents of Edgewater Village, 2017 hasn't been off to a great start. Considering I was one of them that lost my truck in the carport collapse. Oh my God. So it's been a tough winter for us. <laughs> Making the community support even more of a blessing. And people who live here hope this will be the last time they have to put sandbags out. But if it's not, they're confident the community will step up to help them again. They say they haven't seen flooding even close to this since the winter of 2008. Reporting on Upriver Drive, Drew Reeves, KXLY4 News. Wow, neighbors helping neighbors. Thanks so much, Drew.